One of the most important activities that you can systemize and streamline in your business is contact management by leveraging a CRM like HubSpot. Not only can you better manage your contacts, but you can also identify opportunities, improve relationships, and optimize your sales process. You can do all this through simple yet effective contact management activities. And today I'm gonna to show you how by leveraging HubSpot's CRM platform. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into HubSpot, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into contact management with HubSpot. <music> Okay, so if you currently do not have a HubSpot account, what you wanna do is head over to your browser and type in hubspot.com forward slash CRM, and then go ahead and sign up with a free HubSpot account. Now, again, if it's your first time using HubSpot, I suggest you watch our complete HubSpot beginners tutorial, which I'll link up above and down below in the description that will help you understand all the features and tools that you can leverage inside your HubSpot account. Now, once you've arrived inside your HubSpot account, simply navigate over to contacts over on the left hand side and then come down and click on contacts. And this is where you can manage all your contacts. Now, first, what we want to do is navigate over to the right hand side and click on import. For example, if we navigate down to import, this is where we can start importing all our contacts. And if you already have your contacts on a different platform, what you can do is sync the data between both platforms. And that's going to bring your contacts into HubSpot. So depending on where you have your contacts, you can import those contacts or sync those contacts and bring them into your HubSpot database. So if you already have existing contacts and you want to bring them into HubSpot, you can do this through import or sync. Okay, so let's head back to our contacts interface. You can also manually create contacts. For example, if we click on create contact, I'm going to add an example contact. So as you can see, I've added the new contacts email address, first name, last name, the contact owner is myself, so I'm managing this contact. Then down here we have job title, and then we can add this individual's phone number as well as a life cycle stage. So maybe they are a potential lead, we're gonna add them as a lead. However, you have these other options, maybe they're just a subscriber, an opportunity, customer, or any of these other options. Now because they're a lead, what we're gonna do is click on in progress. Maybe I've already had a conversation with this contact and I want to move them through my sales pipeline and they're currently in the lead stage in progress. Then come down to the legal basis and as you can see, I've added legitimate interest prospect slash lead. Then we can come down and we can create and add another, we can cancel or we can create this contact. Now, if we navigate back up to the top, we also have the option to edit this form. So if you want to capture different information from your contacts that you wanna add into your database, you can go ahead and edit your form. So what I'm gonna do is navigate down to the bottom and click on create. Now, when you create a contact, that's gonna take you to this interface. Now, if we navigate back to contacts, we can also open that interface by simply clicking on the contact. Now within this interface on the left hand side we have the contact properties. For example we have the email, phone number, contact owner and all this other information that we can customize and we can edit down here. We can also see communication subscriptions as well as website activity. Now if we navigate back up to the top we have these simple actions. We can create a note, we can send an email, we can set up a call, we can add a task, meeting, and then we have more information over here. This is where we can log any of this information. For example, if we click on log WhatsApp, we can add information about a conversation that I had with this contact via WhatsApp, and that's gonna record that interaction. I'm gonna exit out of that. If we navigate up to activities, this is where you can see specific activities in regards to notes, emails, calls, tasks, and meetings. Here you can see the recent activity down here. And if we navigate over to overview, this is where we can see an overview of all the different interactions and associations to this contact. For example, the deals associated to this contact as well as the tickets. Then if we navigate over to the far right hand side, this is where we have other important activities like managing deals, tickets, payments, attachments, and more down here. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate back over to contacts. Now, if we navigate down to our contacts, these are the newest contacts that have entered our database. And these are automatically added if you've synced another platform. For example, if you've connected your email inbox, then all your contacts will be added to your database. We can navigate down and we can select each of these contacts and we can change the contact owner if we like. We have the create date, last activity date, the lead status, we can change that if we like, and then advanced filters. If we come down, we can assign these contacts to a specific individual, edit, delete, create a task associated with these contacts, and enroll in sequence. We can also click on more, and we can add these selected contacts to a static list. This is if we want to create a specific list for specific contacts. We can enroll in workflow, add legal basis for processing contact data, and then edit communication subscriptions. And we can also navigate up and export these contacts. Okay, so I'm gonna unselect these contacts. Now, if we navigate up here, you can see that we have five different views. With HubSpot's free plan, you can create up to five views for your account. Now, if you make changes to the views or the columns, you can only see those changes within your account. So for example, this view shows my contacts, this view shows my affiliate partners, and then we have my contacts over here. If I click on add view, I can navigate down and choose a standard default view if I like, or I can navigate down and create a new view. And I'm gonna keep everyone selected so anyone can use this view, and then I'm gonna navigate up to name and type in leads, and then click save. Then under leads, what I'm gonna do is click on advanced filters, click on add filter, and then navigate down the page and find deal information and then navigate down and locate sales properties and I'm going to come down and click on lead status and then navigate up here and select all of these options because I want this view to manage all my contacts that are in my sales pipeline that are a current lead then I'm going to click out of that and again you could choose is none of is known is unknown but for me I did is any of these options here and then I'm gonna come down and click apply filter and then exit out of this. And as you can see, this view will manage all of my leads. So depending on the views that you want to create, you can easily create those views and add advanced filters. And again, with the free HubSpot plan, you can only add up to five views into this interface. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually close this view and that's gonna take me back to my five different views. Now I can navigate back over to add view and we can add the views I've already created in the past, or again, we can choose a standard view or create a new view. And as you can see, I now just have my five views. So you can change, you can move these views if you like, you can delete those views, and you can always manage your views by clicking add view, and you can add a view that you created earlier, a standard view, or you can create a new view. Now with each of these columns, what you can do is simply click on the column, and then you can add the information associated with that contact. For example, I can add the phone number for this contact if I haven't added it already from this interface. If we navigate across, you can see all your different columns. You can also edit the columns by clicking edit columns, and you can rearrange these columns if you like, depending on the information that's important to you. And you can also add a property from the left-hand side. For example, if I wanted to add tasks, I can add tasks down here. I'm gonna remove this. And we can also create a property if we like. So depending on the nature of your business, if there is a specific property that you wanna to add to your columns, you can go ahead and do that by creating a property. Okay, so what we're gonna do is cancel out of this. Okay, so now what we wanna do is navigate up to contacts on the left-hand side and come down and click on companies. Now the way that you manage your contact records is the same when it comes to managing company records. So again, you have all your companies down here, you have the columns, you can edit the columns, you have your views up here, you can import and you can manually create your companies. And again, all this information is going to be automatically imported into your account. So we're not going to spend time on companies. Now what we're going to do is navigate up to contacts again, and then come down and click on lists. Now lists allow you to essentially send bulk emails to specific lists. You can also track important list specific subscribers and a lot more. The way that I use lists is to create either static or active lists to then engage in email marketing activities to a specific group of contacts. So this allows for permanent segmentation of your contacts or companies. So as you can see down here, we have an example list, connected customers, 
we have three current connected customers based on our filters this is the objective contact and other information along here you can also create multiple views you can create up to 50 views and you can manage all your lists within specific folders okay so what we're going to do is create a list now you can also import a list if you like but what we're going to do is manually create a list then navigate over here and choose if you want to create a contact based list or a company based list we want to create a list for our contact records then navigate over to list name I'm going to call this deals in progress so I want to create a list that tracks all my deals in progress so all my deals in progress will be added to an active list that is changing that's being updated over time now you can also choose a static list which means it does not update over time unless you manually make changes to your list an active list is great because it's always growing it's always changing based on the filters and rules that you set so I'm going to navigate up to next and I'm going to use this list for sending email campaigns to this specific list so the whole idea of this specific list is so that I can engage in email marketing for those contacts that are in progress in terms of deals this means I can send email campaigns specifically to this list that will provide value and help these contacts move to the next stage in our sales pipeline okay so first what we want to do is add a filter and I'm going to navigate over here and I'm going to click on contact properties and then navigate down the page and locate sales properties and I want to click on lead status and we can navigate up here and change this from is any of to any of these other options is none of is known for the following is unknown for the following has ever been any of the following so I'm going to navigate up to is any of the following which is in progress because remember we're creating an active list of all our contacts that have deals that are currently in the in progress stage of our sales pipeline then I'm going to exit out of this and we can navigate over to add another filter to this group if we like but I'm happy with this list then I'm going to navigate up to save list give HubSpot a moment to process your list and just like that your list is complete then what we can do is navigate back to our lists and as you can see we now have two active lists and because these are active lists the list size will change over time based on the filters and the rules that we put in place for each of the lists and now we can keep an eye on these lists we can monitor the lists we can also engage in email marketing activities however that is it for this contact management tutorial helping you get started with contact management inside hubspot and there we have it guys that is it for this contact management tutorial now if you have any questions about contact management or hubspot make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way i will see you in the next video take care guys